this video we are going to cover on how to install Node.js and uh, Node Package Manager simply npm on Windows machine. So first of all I open any browser so I search for Node.js and the first thing is nodejs.org that is the website we are going to open and once inside that you are going to see install so just click on that which will essentially try to download a particular file so just click on save so that is nothing but the set of file so you open it and click on that So this is the setup wizard to install Node.js. So I click next, accept the terms, and this is the folder it is going to create and at the same time install Node.js. So this is very much essential and at the same time the same particular path will also be getting added to the path variable of environment variables list. So you need to ensure that this path is always added to environment variables. So this during the installation process it is automatically going to be done by the setup itself but just in case if you miss you will need to have it done manually if not the setup does automatically. Next and these are all the things currently it is trying to install you can see right now all of those are selected so if you don't want anything to be not available on your machine you can just remove that. So for example in this case I would like to have everything to be selected and installed. So Node.js runtime this is the most important piece as because that is the core so without this Node will never execute. So you can say it installs essentially Node.exe. So using Node.exe we can have any kind of Node.js based application development to be developed, executed and tested. The next one is NPM Package Manager. So NPM stands for Node Package Manager and this particular package manager is very much essential whenever we would like to have any kind of external node packages to be imported into your application. So during the development of any kind of node application you might be really in requirement of multiple other packages which could be outsourced or on the web to be imported and then include those particular components as part of your application development. So for those purposes NPM is a must. So whenever you are installing Node it is essential to have NPM as because eventually you will be having more and more Node packages to be installed and imported as part of your application. And the last piece is Add to Path. So as I mentioned earlier this makes your environment path variable to have your directory C program files node.js to be automatically added to the path. If it does not do that automatically or for some reason if you miss that here you will have to do that manually. So I click next now and I click install. So while it is installing it will be asking you for the permissions and just press yes for now. So once it's a, it has completed its installation we are going to see this message so just press finish after this and we have node successfully installed. So let us test how node has been installed and how to execute any kind of JavaScript. So you just go to the start and type for node and you should be able to see node.js automatically made available after the installation. So if you need it just right click that and say pin to start so that you can always start right from here. So just click on this guy in order to get to the node. So this is the environment or the command prompt or REPL where you can have any kind of node based commands to be executed. So for example I can have a JavaScript statement something like variable x equal to 20 to be executed. 
and now I can say please display the value of x and you can see I got the value of x displayed automatically which is nothing but 20 in my previous statement. So you can always exit the environment with that command dot exit. So this is the command where you can always exit from the node command prompt. So just press S and we are going to be out of it. So you can also test how the path has been added to your machine by right clicking on your machine going to the properties and then you are going to see advanced system settings and inside that you are going to see environment variables and there you are going to see path so let us edit that and you are going to see the exact path we have seen earlier as part of your installation so this has been automatically added by the node.js installation so for some reason if this is missing ensure that it is always made available or make it manually possible anyway so as now the node has been installed successfully we can also execute it right from the command prompt by just pressing window R go to the command prompt and now you can just say node so essentially you can see your own set type in node you can see that I always have that node prompt to be made available there and now I can say x variable y equal to something like 30 and now I can always display the value of y which essentially is nothing but 30 and in order to get out of the uh, node mark uh, node command prompt just say dot exit so in that way we have simply checked whether node is working properly or not we can also test a couple of JavaScript statements by going to something like you know I can just start my own notepad plus plus and type in some JavaScript something like uh, variable x equal to 10 and variable y equal to 20 and then I can say console dot log so I can say sum equals x plus y so this is the JavaScript I have in place so let me save it somewhere I go to save and in this case I would like to go to desktop and then sorry let me let me go to C directly and um, let me go to users and personal and just type in something like sample.js so you can see that I'm actually putting sample.js which is nothing but the file name inside double quotations just to ensure that it will not be adding .txt automatically so if you put in double quotations that is the exact file name it is going to uh, name it without adding any other extension automatically so I just say save for now and you can see it has saved sample.js so if I type in dir you should be able to see sample.js which is there and now I can execute that by just typing node sample.js and you should be able to see sum equal to 30 so which is nothing but 10 plus 20 equal to 30 so in that way we can have node to be installed and tested within the environment of Windows 8